everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to start in child's pose. So go ahead and take your big toes together, open up your knees, hips sit back over your heels and rest your forehead on your mat. You can outstretch your hands towards the top of your mat or if you wanna bring them alongside your body to rest. And that feels comfortable, that's fine too. I want you to keep your eyes closed. Start to bring all your attention to your body and your mat and your practice. Beginning to breathe in and out through the nose, deepening and lengthening your inhales and your exhales. Take a few more breaths here on your own. Walk your hands towards your right, stretching over your right thigh. Walk your hands to center, over to your left, stretching side body. Bring your hands back to center and hands towards your knees. Sitting up onto your side hip, swing your legs around and take a seated position, sitting up nice and tall, lengthening your spine. Reach up as you inhale, exhale, stretch to your right, lengthen down the left side body. On your inhale, bring it back to center, reach up tall, shoulders down, and exhale, stretch to your left. Bring it back to center, arms reach up, exhale, hands down, walk it forward, fold out over your legs, maybe relax your head towards the mat. Walk your hands back, and taking your opposite leg in front, stretching the opposite hip. Reach up as you inhale, fingers interlace, palms press up, and look up to your hands, relax the shoulders. As you exhale, hands press forward, bring your chin to your chest, round your back. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back. Fingers interlaced, shoulders open. Fold forward, hands up, away from the body. On your inhale, bring it back up. Release the arms, reach up tall. Hands come together at heart center. Taking a twist, right hand behind you, left hand to your knee, lengthen as you inhale and twist. Look back over your right shoulder. Bring it back to center, switching sides, lengthen tall and twist. Look back over your left shoulder. Bring your body back to center and roll over onto your hands and knees. Coming into a cat cow stretch, you want your hands underneath your shoulders, knees are hip width distance. Lower the belly, lift the tailbone, look up. Exhale, round your back, chin tucks. Inhale, belly drops. Stretch heart forward. Exhale, pull in up through the belly button and round. Take two more cycles of breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. One last time. And exhale. Coming into a neutral spine, extend your left leg back, right arm forward. Arm and leg are parallel with your mat. You can either stay there or bend your knee, reach back, find the top of the foot. Toes reach up and away from the body, lifting nice and tall through the spine. Maybe looking up and over the right shoulder, stretch the neck. Release the foot, go ahead and next step. Leg stays lifted, hand lower, shift your weight to your hand and knee and open up to your left. Reach up through the left hand. Extend your hand forward, palm down. Exhale, knee to elbow bend, contract that side body touch. Inhale, stretch and extend. Exhale, knee to elbow, squeeze. And stretch. Two more. Last one. You can either keep the arm and leg extended or knee bends. Reach back, grab hold of that foot. See if you can look up and over the right shoulder towards the ceiling. Take one more breath. On your inhale, release the foot and extend. Exhale, lower, switching sides. 
sides. So left hand out, right leg back, nice long spine. Pull in and up through the belly button. You can either stay there or bend your knee. Reach back, find hold of that top of the foot. Lifting the foot up and away from the body. Maybe looking up and over your left shoulder. Stretch the neck. Release the foot and extend. Leg stays lifted, hand lower. Shift your weight to your left hand. Reach up with the right. On your inhale, extend your arm forward, palm down. Exhale, knee to elbow, squeeze, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, breathing in and out through the nose. Remember, and reach. Two more. Last one. You can either stay there or bend your knee, reach back, find hold of that foot, looking up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Take two more breaths. You have the foot release. Straighten the leg, lower hand and knee back to all fours. Bringing it down to your forearms for dolphin. Elbows are shoulder width distance, fingers interlace, tuck the toes. Straighten the legs. So you're pressing firmly through the forearms, hips are lifted. If you can, walk the feet a little bit closer, get those hips higher, maybe reaching up through the tailbone. Remember if it's always an option to modify if you need to, dropping those knees down anytime to make it a little bit easier. If you wanna make it more challenging in that dolphin, right leg reaches up. Feel the energy reach through the toes. Make sure you're pressing firmly through the forearms. You're gazing towards the back edge of your mat, but your head is not touching the mat. If you have the right leg lifted, switching sides, right toes lower, left toes lift. Leg is straight, hips are even. If you have the leg lifted, start to lower. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, walk your feet back, dropping your body so you're parallel with your mat. Again, if you're gonna modify, knees down. Pull in and up through the belly button. Squeeze those core muscles nice and tight. If you wanna make it more challenging, right leg can lift. Don't forget to breathe. Have the right leg lifted, switching sides, right toes lower, left toes lift. Again, if you're modifying, you can make it harder, but still lifting that leg, keeping the opposite knee down. If your left leg is lifted, lower the toes. Take two more breaths in here and a forearm plank. On your next inhale, start to lift the hips up. Walk your feet back to dolphin. Two breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose. On your last exhale, knees down. So your hips to child's pose. So remember you can come down to child's pose at any time during your practice. Make sure you're listening to your body. Take one more breath. On your inhale, lift up to your hands and knees. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Press up and back to your downward facing dog. Hands are shoulder width distance, feet are hip width distance. That's about two fist distance between the ankles. Let your head hang. You can start to open up your hamstrings if you'd like, cuddling one heel and the other towards the floor. So you're stretching down the backs of the legs, getting into those hip flexors, or sorry, hamstrings and IT bands. Maybe lifting up onto your tippy toes, stretch the bottoms of the feet, and then take those heels back down. Remember your heels do not have to touch your mat. They don't, you just wanna feel that stretch from the sit bones all the way down the backs of the legs and heels as the heels reach towards the mat. Take one more breath here. On 
your inhale, bring it out to plank. Shoulders out over your fingertips. Nice strong arms, pull in and up through the belly button. Remember, anytime you're in plank again, you can always modify knees down. Take one more breath. Exhale, lift those hips, press back. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Leg is eat straight, tips are even. Again, if it's too much for you, remember knee down is always an option. On your next exhale, start to lift the hip open. Bend your knees, you're looking up under that right arm. Stretch shoulder to hip. On your inhale, score the hips up. Straighten the leg, look forward, step the foot to the outside of your right hand. Left knee lowers. Easy twist, reach up with your right hand. Look up to your hand. If you wanna go further, you can bend your knee, reach back, grab hold of the foot. Try to sink your hips a little bit closer to your mat, maybe letting that knee open, getting a deeper stretch on your left hip flexor. Two more breaths, wherever you are. You've got the foot release, your hand reaches up, hand lowers down, tuck the toes of your back foot, lift your knee up off your mat, reach your right leg up and back. Leg stays lifted, bring it out to plank. So again, if you're gonna modify, left knee down. Eight leg lifts with the right leg for eight, Seven, squeeze that glute. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Leg can stay lifted or lower the toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Knees again to modify. Elbows hug the sides of the body as you lower. You can stay low to cobra. Elbows alongside the torso or straighten the arms up, dog. Shoulders down and back. Maybe look up. Exhale, lift the hips, press up and back, downward facing dog. Always checking in with your breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhale, left leg up, leg is straight, hips are even. On your next exhale, lift the hip open. Look up under that left elf or arm, stretch shoulder to hip. On your inhale, square the hips off, straighten the leg. Stepping your left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop your right knee down. Easy twist, right hand stays down, reach up with the left. Up to your hand. You can stay there or bend your right knee, reach back, grab hold of the foot. So remember, if you want to let that left knee open, try to sink your hips closer to your mat. Feel that stretch on your right hip flexor. If you have that foot start to release, reach up through the hand, lower the hand down, tuck the toes of your right foot. Lift that knee back up off your mat. Pressing firmly through the hands, left leg extends up and back. Keeping your leg lifted, bring it out to plank. So remember to drop your opposite knee to modify. Eight leg lifts for eight, seven, squeeze that glute, six, five, four, three, two, and one, leg can stay lifted or lower the toes. Exhale, lower chaturanga, elbows alongside the body as you lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, lift the hips, press back. Three breaths, downward facing dog. Remember to press through the hands, lifting the hips up and back. Breathe in and out through the nose. Stay focused on your breath. Looking forward, step or float the feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. If you need to take a soft bend in the knees, you can. Otherwise, legs are straight. Let your whole body fold. Nose to knees. On your next 
inhale, start to come up. Float your arms up, reach up through the fingers. Exhale, bring your hands behind the back, shoulders open and fold forward. Hands up, away from the body. Try to get the hands palm to palm. Let your head relax towards the floor. On your next exhale, bend your right knee. Take right shoulder to right knee, left leg stays straight. Straighten the right leg and bend the left knee, left shoulder to left knee, right leg stays straight. So you should feel a good stretch after keeping that leg straight all the way down the IT band. Straighten the right leg or the left leg, hold center one more breath. Inhale, start to come up. Release the arms, reach up tall. Take your right hand to right side, stretch the left arm up and over. Inhale, bring it back to center, reach up tall. Exhale, left hand to left side and stretch. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Coming to the top of your mat for sun salutations. If you're not there already, nice and tall. Relax the shoulders, pull the belly button in and up. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat up. Exhale, release the hands down. Bring it back to plank. So remember to use those knees to modify. Lowering chaturanga. So if you're modifying knees down. Inhale, up dog. Shoulders down and back. Exhale, lift the hips. Press back. Downward facing dog. So you want to breathe in and out through the nose. Keep that consistent breath. On your next exhale, look forward. Step or lightly float the feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms float up. Reach up tall through the fingers. Exhale, bring palms together at heart center. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down. You can step or float back if you're floating back. Nice, soft elbows into a chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, lift the hips. Press back. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Looking forward, step or float the feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms float up, reach up tall through the fingers. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back and move through vinyasa. Inhale, reach your right leg up. So remember if you're modifying left knee down. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, same side. See if you can touch. Inhale, stretch and extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Squeeze and engage those core muscles. Inhale, extend. Two more. Make sure you're pulling in and up through the belly button. Keep your abs strong. Support your lower back. Last one, we're gonna hold one breath. Knee to elbow, hold here. Inhale, reach the leg up and back. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Come into warrior two. Right toes are forward. I'm gonna turn side as you can see the front of me. So bending into that right knee, lifting tall, relax the shoulders. Try to bend a little bit deeper. So notice how my knee's over my ankle. If you're here and your knee's out over those toes, then you need to open up the distance between your feet. Slow your breath. On your inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm up, 
a right arm up, look up to your hands. Maybe slipping that left hand behind the back of your hip crease. On your next exhale, right forearm to thigh, left arm stretches forward, reach through those fingertips. Maybe look to the hand. If you wanna go even further, right hand all the way down. Try to drop those hips. You're getting your hips lower than the shoulders, keeping that nice length through the side body. Keep reaching and extending. That feels good on the arm and the shoulder. From there, if you'd like to wrap, left hand behind the back. You can either stay there in a half wrap or maybe reach up under. Find that opposite hand. Look up and over the shoulder. Maybe sinking your hips a little bit closer. Take three more wraps. You have the wrap release. Inhale, warrior two. Front leg straighten so both legs are straight. Right fingertips reach forward, hip shift back. Move into triangle. So your right hand lightly placed on your leg or your mat. Open up so you're rotating your left hip and shoulder up away from the mat. Nice link from the crown of the head out towards the top of your mat. Look up to your hand. If you wanna go a little bit further, hand can lower behind the back. Again, maybe finding that hip crease and then stay there, float your right hand across the body. Look up and over the left shoulder. Make sure you're keeping those legs strong and your core muscles strong to support your body. You've got that wrap release. Right hand down, left arm up. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Take your left hand to your hip. Shift your weight into that right leg and lift up to a half moon. If that's too much for you, both hands down and standing splits. If you found your balance, left arm reaches up. Try to lift that leg a little bit higher if you can. Feel the energy through the fingers and the toes. Maybe look up to your hand. As you exhale, start to soften the knee. Step back into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel the arms forward. Step back to plank. Right leg can stay lifted, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, lift this. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. So remember if you're modifying your right knee, it's down on your mat. As you exhale, left knee to left elbow touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Remember to squeeze those core muscles strong. Two more. Last one. We're gonna hold here, knee to elbow. Engage those core muscles. Inhale, reach your left leg up. Step the foot between your hands and open up, warrior. Slow the breath. Inhale, reverse it, reach up through your left hand. Maybe slipping your fingertips behind the back. Exhale, side angle, reaching forward through the right hand. Nice length through the spine. And maybe taking that hand all the way down, deepening your stretch. You can stay there, take your right hand behind the back. Maybe reaching up under, find that wrap. Look up and over the shoulder. You've got the wrap release. Right arm forward, inhale, warrior two. Front leg straightens, back to that triangle. So your left fingertips reach forward, hip shift back, move into triangle. Look up to your hand. If you wanna go a little further, hand behind the back, slip those fingers into your hip crease. Stay there, float your hand across the body. Pressing firmly through the feet against the mat. 
Don't forget to focus on your breath. Start to release. Left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it, left arm up. Exhale, shift your weight in that left leg, half moon. Remember, if you want standing splits instead, that's always an option. If you're in that half moon, reach up through the hand, through the right hand, lift that top leg a little higher. Don't forget to breathe. On your exhale, soften the left knee, step up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse, left arm up. Exhale, curl the arms forward. Step back to plank. Left leg can stay lifted, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slow your breath. Bring it back out to plank. Taking side plank. Right arm reaches up. Make sure your left wrist is underneath your shoulder. If you want to modify, you're just going to drop that bottom knee down to your mat. Make sure you're engaging your core muscles, maybe going further, lifting that top leg. Don't forget to breathe. As you exhale, lower the leg, inhale. Switching sides. Make sure your right wrist is underneath your shoulder, hips are lifted, reach up through the left hand. Maybe lifting that top leg to challenge your balance. Exhale, lower the leg in here, bring it back to plank. Stay here to inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Slow your breath. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Come all the way up. It's your warrior two, right toes are forward. I'm turning the opposite direction so I can face you. Inhale, reverse it, right arm up. Exhale, side angle or extended side angle. And then from there, if you're wrapping left hand behind the back, maybe reach up under that front leg. From here, if you have that full wrap and you want to try Bird of Paradise, step your left foot forward to the top of your mat, shift your weight into your left leg, start to pick up the right. And then if you're standing, maybe extending the right leg any amount. Take that foot, place it back down at the top of your mat, step back, release the hands if you have that wrap. Inhale, warrior two. Taking your left hand to here, shift your weight into that right leg. Half moon. Or standing splits, nice light fingertips. Reaching out through the hand. If you want to go further, see if you can bend your left knee. Reach back for the foot. If you have that foot, you want to make sure your hips are staying open towards the side edge of your mat and you're not dropping that hip down. If you find that you're dropping it down, then just release the foot because you want to keep the integrity and the length of the body in that pose. If you have the foot release, soften the knee, step back, warrior two, inhale, reverse, exhale, cartwheel the arms forward, step back to plank. Holding here in plank, three chaturanga push-ups. So if you're modifying, knees are down on your mat. Exhale, lower, hover your body above the mat. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, elbows alongside the torso and straighten. Go slow. Once you've done three, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the foot through. And come into your warrior two. Walk the other direction, so I'm facing you. So your left toes are forward, nice tall spine. Inhale, reverse that left arm up. Exhale, side angle 
or extended side angle. And then from there, if you're gonna wrap, you can behind the back, half wrap or full. So I just want you to feel challenged, but also stop where you feel comfortable holding your pose as well. If you have that full wrap and you wanna try the Bird of Paradise on this side, you're gonna step your right foot forward to the top of your mat, shift your weight into that right leg, start to stand, and then see if you can extend the left leg any amount. Taking that left foot back to the top of your mat, see if you can keep the hands clasped, step back with the right foot, release the wrap, inhale, warrior two. Right hand to hip, shift your weight into that left leg for your half moon, reaching up when you found your balance or standing splits. If you wanna stay here, you can, or if you wanna challenge yourself even further, bend your knee, reach back for your foot. If you have the foot, release, soften the knee, Step back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel the arms forward. Step back to plank. Holding here, three chaturanga push-ups. Remember, knees down to modify. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale. Last one, stay strong. Once you've done three, vinyasa. So chaturanga into up dog, into down dog. That's a vinyasa. Slow your breath. Remember, you can always take child's pose if you need to at any time. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. High lunge. Arms float up. So bending into that front knee, lift tall through the body. Bending into your knee, keeping this left leg straight though. Relax the shoulders. See if you can look up. Taking the hands behind the back. Fingers interlace. Bend deeper into your knee. Release the arms, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward so your body's at a 45, reaching out through those fingertips. As you exhale, press the hands down and back, squeeze those triceps. Inhale, sweep the arms back up alongside the ears. Exhale, down and back, squeeze. Inhale, reach, you're pressing firmly through that front foot. Two more, exhale, squeeze, and reach. Last one. And reach. Bring it all the way back up. Hands to heart center. Exhale, twist. Left elbow hooks the outer knee. If your legs are getting tired, that's okay. Just drop your knee down. That'll take a lot of the pressure out of the lower body. Look up and over the shoulder. On your next inhale, bring it back to center. Stay center here, shift your weight into that right leg, lift up to a modified warrior three. If that's too much for you, hands down into standing splits. That's gonna be your modification. So if you're in that warrior three and you wanna move into full arms, reach forward. You're making a T with the body, energy through the fingertips and the left heel. As you exhale, knee softens, step back to your high lunge. Exhale, hands down. Drop that left knee down to your mat. Left leg is straight. You wanna make sure your right toes are forward of your knees, so scoot that foot forward if you need to. If you wanna stay there, you can if that feels like a good stretch, or lower all the way down, bringing your forearms to your mat. every exhale, see if you can get your body a little bit closer to your mat. Coming 
back up onto your hands. Sit the hips back, straighten the leg, flex the toes, and fold nose to knee. Stretch your right hamstring. Start to lower the foot back to your mat. Tuck your toes, step back to plank. Taking side plank, right arm reaches up. So remember if you're modifying, knee down. Exhale, take that hand, sweep it under the side body. Inhale, arm up. Exhale. And reach. Three more. Remember to breathe. You're engaging your core muscles, rotating through the core. Last one. On your exhale, lower the hand, bring it back to plank. Stay here to inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Come into a lunge. Arms reach up. Your back leg is straight, bending into your front knee. Concentrate on slowing your breath. See if you can look up. On your inhale, hands behind the back, fingers interlace. Go deeper into your front knee. Release the arms, reach up. Inhale, hinge forward so your body's about 45. Exhale, hands sweep down and back. Squeeze those triceps. Inhale, back up alongside the ears. Exhale, down and back. Inhale, reach. Two more. Make sure you're squeezing those triceps. Energy through the fingers. Last one. On your inhale, bring it all the way back up. Hands come to the heart center. Exhale, twist. Right elbow hooks the outer knee. Remember if your legs are tired, if that's a lot for your lower body, just drop your knee down to modify. See if you can look up and over your left shoulder. Bring it back to center. Find your balance. Shift your weight into that left leg. Lift up to your modified warrior three or hands down. Remember, standing splits, that's an option. If you're in that warrior three and you want to extend the arms forward, you can. On your exhale, knee softens. Step back into that high lunge. Exhale, hands down. Both hands to the inner front foot. Lower your right knee down to your mat. So your right leg's nice and straight. Remember, you want your left toes forward of your knee. And if it feels good, stay there. Or if you want to lower your forearms to your mat, you can. Deepening that stretch. If you're on your forearms, bring it all the way back up. Sit your hips back, straighten your left leg. Nice long spine, heart forward and fold. Nose to knee. Start to lower the foot back to your mat. Tuck the toes, step to plank. Staying here in plank, left side plank. So right hand stays down, reach up with your left hand. Modify if you need to. If you're not modifying, try to stack your feet so you want your top foot over your bottom. On your exhale, left hand sweeps down under that right side body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. And reach. Three more. Last two, remember to breathe. Last one. On your exhale, 
exhale, lower the hand, bring it back to plank. So here to inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Slow your breath. Step your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Your heels are on your mat. You can stay there or take a twist. Right hand center, left hand to the outside, the right leg. So you're looking up under the arm. If that's not for you, just stay in a wide-legged down dog. If you've got that twist, bring it back to center. Switching sides, left hand presses firmly against your mat, right hand to the outside of your left leg. You're looking up under the left arm. Bring it back to center. Keep your feet wide. Walk your hands back. So your feet are still mat width distance. Grab hold of your elbows and sway from side to side. Bring it back to center, hands down, toe heel your feet together, forward fold. On your inhale, bring it all the way back up, arms reach up, exhale, hands to heart center. Coming to the center of your mat, we're going to work on balance. So first tree pose. So your weight is on your right foot, left foot to either your inner ankle, inner shin, or inner thigh. So the higher up you take the leg, the harder it is to balance. It also, it's more difficult on that hip opening as well. So as long as you're not pressing on your kneecap, anywhere along the leg is fine. Hands to heart center. Find your balance. And then start to grow tall. You can't see my fingers, but there's lots of energy through them reaching up towards the ceiling or the sky or outside. Maybe looking forward or up to challenge your balance. Bring your arms back parallel with your mat. Start to look out over your right shoulder. Bring your gaze slowly back to center. Look out over your left. Back to center, arms float up, hands to heart center, and release. Switching legs, left foot down. Shake out that right leg if you need to. Right foot to either your inner ankle, so it's going to be easiest since both feet are on your mat. Inner shin or inner thigh. Find your balance. Hands to heart center. Nice length through the spine, shoulders are down. Think about having a nice long neck reaching up through the crown of your head. And reach up tall through those fingertips, lots of energy. Don't forget about your breath. Start to bring your arms parallel with your mat. And then see if you can look out over your left shoulder. Bring it back to center. And look out over your right. Bring it back to center, arms reach up tall, hands to heart center, and release. Taking your weight back onto your right foot for a dancer's pose, I'm going to turn a little sideways so you can see. So your weight's on your foot, hand to hip, bend your knee, and grab hold of your left foot. So face forward, this is what it looks like from the front, this is what it looks like from the side. And you found your balance, start to reach up through that right arm. Start to tilt forward, toes reach up and away from the body. So you want to keep your chest lifted, reach up through those toes. Nice, strong standing leg. If you want to stay here, you can. If you want to come back into that half moon bent knee, called candy cane pose. Start to lower your right hand down. See if you can touch the mat. When you're ready, bring it back up. 
Up is always the hardest. Come all the way up and release. Switching legs, so shake out that right leg. Weight is on your left foot, hand to hip, bend your right knee. Grab hold of your foot, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. And if this is challenging for you to grab hold of your foot, you can always take the toes behind the mat. And then when we lean forward, just lean forward and lift those toes up. That'll be your modification. When you're ready, right arm reaches up, tilt forward, reach those toes up away from the body. Remember chest is lifted, nice strong standing leg. And if you want to go a little further, moving into that handy cane pose, half moon with the foothold, slowly start to hinge forward. Find the ground with your left fingertips. Try to come back up. Nice strong standing leg. Back to your dancer's pose. Come all the way up. And release. Shake it off. We're gonna do crow pose. So this is our arm balance. So your hands are shoulder width distance. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see. Nice high hips, slightly bent elbows like chaturanga arms. Gonna lift up high onto your tippy toes. Take the knees against the backs of the upper arms. See if you can shift your weight into your hands. Maybe lifting one or both toes up off the mat. You want to make sure you're looking forward towards the top edge of your mat. Try to get those hips as high as you can because if you have low hips, then your hips have to go all the way low to all the way high. But if you start out with the hips nice and high, then you just have to find that sweet spot to balance. Remember, slightly soft bent elbows, press firmly through the hands, spread the fingers wide, lift up through the belly button, roll onto your toes. See if you can get some lift off, maybe toes together for a tail feather or your crow. So if you want to pause the video and give it a couple of tries here, you can. Always braver on carpet, so maybe find a carpet or some pillows. And then when you're ready, come back to me. So once you've tried those crow poses a couple of times, I want you to come back to the top of your mat, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step or float back. And move through vinyasa. Slow your breath here. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, lift the hip, bend your knee, look and button your right arm. If you want to stay there you can or continue into flip dog but keeps going press those hips up find your back bend see if you can lift to your hands press those hips up a little higher taking it back right hand down square the hips straighten the leg exhale bend your knee tuck your shin under come into pigeon so you want to sit centered on your hips Nice long spine, walk your hands forward. Try to get your body a little bit closer to your mat if you can. Maybe walking your hands all the way forward, deepening that stretch. Walk your hands out of your stretch. Tuck your back toes, right leg reaches up and back. Lower the toes. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, hip lifts open, bend your knee, look up under the arm. Maybe keep going to your flip dog, but continues, pick up your left hand, press those hips forward, look to your hand. If you flipped your dog, bring it back. Straighten the leg. Exhale, bend your knee, tuck your shin under, back leg straightens, and then walk it forward. Into those forearms, or maybe extending the hands a little bit forward towards the top of your mat.
Walk your hands back on your stretch. Tuck the toes, left leg up and back. Lower the toes. Inhale to plank. Exhale, vinyasa. Last one. And on your next exhale, bring those knees down. Sit your hips to child's pose. Walk your hands back. Sit off onto your side hip. Swing your legs around forward. And take the feet together. Knees open. Sit up nice and tall. And reach your heart forward towards the toes. Let your knees open, heart forward, feel that stretch. On your inhale, bring it up. Keeping your left leg in, right foot out. Right hand to your shin or your foot, reach up and over with the left hand. Bring it all the way back up, switching sides. Right leg in, left leg out. Hand to your shin or your foot. Reach up and over. Bring it all the way back up. Keeping your left leg out, right leg out to straddle. Hands behind you, you wanna cross those hips forward as much as you can. You can keep your hands behind your hips to support or hands in front, and then walk your hands forward. So I keep your legs straight, feet are flexed. Try to get down to your forearms if you can, maybe a little bit closer. This is pretty much as close as I can get to the mat. So don't be discouraged if you can't go all the way down. It's a very deep stretch on those hips. Go a little bit closer as those hips release. Start to walk your hands over to your right leg, stretching through the right side. Walk your hands back to center, over to your left. Left side. Bring it back to center. See if you can reach long. One more breath. And walk your hands back. Bring your feet together. Whew. Give those legs a little shake. And sit evenly on your hips for a double hamstring stretch. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Long spine. Reach up as you inhale. Exhale, stretch forward toward those toes. If you can't touch your toes, your hands can rest on your form, on your um, shins. Or if you have a towel or strap, you can wrap it around the bottom and hold on with the hands. Keeping your heart forward, tailbone reaches back. Try to find as much length as you can through that spine. Really good stretch in those hamstrings. And then maybe release the head. Getting a little bit deeper. Reach up as you inhale and exhale. Release. Lay down on your back. Bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees in and rock side to side. Massage your lower back. Bring your knees back to center. Knees stay bent. Take your right ankle, cross it up and over your left knee. Hands interlace behind the left thigh or across the shin. Hug the knee and stretch the hip. And exhale, switching sides, left foot down, or right foot down, left foot up and over, hand behind the thigh, across the shin, hug the knee in, stretch. And release the legs, taking both feet to your mat, arms out to a T, cross your right knee over your left, knees all the way to your left, and look out over your right shoulder.
bring the legs back to center, change the legs, left over right, knees all the way to your right, look out over your left shoulder. Bring your knees back to center, uncross the legs, hug the knees in for one last stretch, and then straighten your legs to your mat for Shavasana. So finding a nice comfortable position with your body, close your eyes, relaxing all the muscles of the body, softening the muscles of the face. If it feels better on your lower back, you can always bend your knees, keep your feet on your mat or maybe soles of the feet together. That'll take any pressure off the lower back. And otherwise, just slowly tangle your breath, allowing it to occur at its natural pace without any thought or force. Relaxing the muscles of the face, the shoulders, feeling the collarbones broaden within your heart. Tangle of your abdominal muscles, feeling the hips heavily pressed against your mat. your entire body to melt towards the floor. And for the next couple minutes, keeping your eyes closed and your mind quiet, enjoying all the benefits of your practice. Inhales and your exhales coming back to your breath. Beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes, awakening your body from its rest. On your next inhale, stretch your arms up overhead, point your toes. And then as you exhale, bring your knees to your chest. Roll off onto your right side and take a breath or two there yourself up to a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, eyes are closed, relax the shoulders. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, palms press together at heart center. It's a symbol of sealing in all the benefits of your practice. Bow your heads and take a second to silently thank yourself for joining me today. It shows a great commitment to your health and your spirit. Draw your hands to your forehead to remind us to always think lovingly. Draw the hands to the mouth to remind us to always speak compassionately. And draw your hands to your heart center to remind us to find the love and the beauty in everything that is around us, including ourselves. Namaste. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.